Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to AdMats Plus Maths. I am now going to discuss to you the number two or the second question for Additional Mathematics Paper 1 Variant 3 October November of 2018. This question is all about circular measure and it's all about perimeter of a sector. Okay? It says on the question, there is a diagram. The diagram shows a sector POQ, POQ, so this is a sector of a circle. The center is O, radius is R, where angle POQ is equal to, so angle POQ, this angle is theta radians. The perimeter of the sector is 20 cm. Okay, so when we say perimeter of a sector, it's always one radius, another radius, okay, plus the arc length. And arc length, okay, remember, arc length is always, okay, arc length is always R theta. What is R? That is radius. Theta means the angle of the sector. Okay, so basically, number one, show that the area is equal to centi uh, A centimeter squared of the sector is given by A is equal to 10R minus R squared. So, we have to work out first, we have to work out first what will be the value of that angle because we are going to show area and remember area Okay, is always or area of a sector is always equivalent to one half r squared theta. So after finding out the value of the theta, then we can make everything or we can express the area in terms of r. Okay, so what do you need to do? Use the idea that the perimeter is 20 cm. Okay. So, 20 cm is equivalent to R1, 2. So, there are 2 R plus the arc length PQ, which is R theta. Okay? And let's make the theta as the subject of the formula so that later on, we can substitute whatever, we, whatever is the value of the theta into the area and to show that A or the area is equivalent to 10R minus R squared. So it will now become uh, 20 minus 2R divided by R is equal to the theta. Okay, how come did I, how come I know that it will be 20 minus 2R over R? You uh, subtract both sides by 2R. So it will become 20 minus 2R and then I'll divide both sides by R so that I can make theta as the uh, as our subject of the formula. Okay? Since theta is equivalent to this one, then I can change in that. It will become A is equivalent to 1 half times R squared times the value of the theta is 20 minus 2R over R. Okay? R squared divided by R is just R. Okay? So, it will become R times 20 is 20R. R times negative 2R is negative 2R squared divided by, there is a 2 there, 2. Okay, why, why is there no more R? Because R squared divided by R is just simply R. R times 20 is 20R. R times negative 2R is negative 2R squared. You just need to divide 20R divided by 2 is 10R. Negative 2R squared divided by 2 is negative R squared. Then we are able to show. Okay, next, it is given that the R can vary and that A has a maximum value. So, A 
has a maximum value. Find the value of theta for which a has a maximum value. Okay. So, this basically is not so much related to the circular measure lesson, but it is now a lesson or a question about derivative. And remember, when we are talking about maximum value, maximum value is always related to maximum point of a curve. And this is the curve that we are talking about. Okay, and when we are dealing with maximum point, we always associate it with the stationary point. Okay, and when we say stationary point, gradient is always equivalent to zero. And when the gradient is equivalent to zero, dy over dx is equivalent to zero. But here, it's not dy over dx, we are saying dA over dr or the derivative of the a in terms of the r okay and the derivative of the a in terms of the r is equal to zero since it's a stationary point okay so dA over dr is zero equals the derivative of this okay what is the derivative of 10 r minus r squared it is 10 minus 2 r Okay, we just need to find out what is the value of that r. Okay, I'll just move that to r. 2r is equal to 10, so r is equal to 5. Okay, I am not looking for the r. What I am looking for is the value of the theta. So how will we look for that theta? Theta, remember, is equivalent to 20 minus 2R over R. So, theta is equivalent now to 20 minus 2 times 5 over 5. Theta is equivalent now to 20 minus 10 is 10. 10 divided by 5 is 2 region. Okay? So this is actually the maximum value or the value of the theta for which A has a maximum value. Okay? Thank you very much for listening to our or watching our video for today. I hope you have learned something. And if you have learned something, please don't forget to like and share this video. And of course, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Wait for the marking scheme so that you will verify if our answers are correct. By the way, you will get 3 marks for the first question, 3 marks for the second question. Thank you.